In this video, we are going to discuss data rate limits. A very important consideration in data communications is how fast we can send our data in bits per second over a channel and data rate depends on three factors. So always we require to have faster communication. That means the data transfer rate between the sender to the receiver should be fast enough and the time required should be minimum enough. And that is why we always concerned with the data transfer rate and data transfer rate depends on, on main three factors. So first one is the bandwidth available. So bandwidth means the difference between the maximum frequency and the minimum frequency of the respective channel and the level of the signal we use and the quality of the channel that is the level of noise. Theoretical formulas were developed to calculate the data rate. So, for the Nyquist theorem will be required or will be applicable for noiseless channel and Shannon's for a noisy channel. So, let us discuss this Nyquist theorem and the Shannon's formula in a in one by one sequence. So, let us start with the Nyquist. So, that is our Nyquist bit rate. So, for a noiseless channel the Nyquist bit rate formula derives the, the theoretical maximum bit rate. That means in case of noiseless channel, what is the maximum bit rate possible that can be decided by this respective formula. That is 2 into bandwidth into log of L to the base 2 and that will decide the bit rate. And in increasing the level of a signal may reduce the reliability of the system. So, obviously the L should have some upper bound. and to calculate the bit rate in noiseless channel, it will be 2 into bandwidth into log of L to the base 2. So now let us go for the Shannon's. So Shannon's capacity. So call the Shannon's capacity to determine the theoretical highest data rate for a noise channel. So now here the data rate is getting calculated for a noisy channel. So capacity is equal to bandwidth into log of 1 plus SNR to the base 2. So, that is the expected equation for to calculate the capacity of the channel. The Shannon capacity gives us the upper limit and Nyquist formula tells us that how many signal levels we need. So, this line is very important. So, the Shannon capacity gives us the upper limit and the Nyquist formula tells us that how many signal levels we need here. So, in this way we have discussed that how to decide the data rate of a channel. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.